What do you think, is, Alice? What are you? Because you talked about this this morning. This is such an important issue for me because I've been living in London for ten years. I've also lived in multiple other countries around the world. Never before have I felt as unsafe as I do now. When I walk down the street, I'm increasingly being leered at. I'm increasingly having. I'm increasingly being followed, like I'm going around the souks of Morocco, and it's not visibly to me anyway. People who were born and bred here. It isn't, and I, I, you know, it's very difficult because we're not allowed to talk about it. Because oh my gosh, you know, that's not that breaks taboo. Oh, you know, you're a racist if you say this. I'm sorry. A lot of women going about their daily business feel that their safety is being directly threatened by people who are coming from different cultures, and this needs to be discussed. Because I've had enough. All my other female friends have had enough. When I put this stuff online, the number of comments online from other women saying they've had enough and saying thank you for talking about this. Was it not enough when we noticed what was going on with grooming gangs? Was it not enough when we see what's happened to the victim of Abdul Azadi? When are we going to have the conversation that women's safety is being mortgaged at the altar of mass immigration and this faux political correctness? And well, I speak to many just... other women who just... suffer the same indignities and offences like you do, who don't have a public profile, yeah. who are not in the media, and they are echoing what you are saying Thank you. about the utterly unacceptable behaviour that they are being subjected to and I keep urging them to report it.